2020 started as the previous year had finished with starlings, the great murmurations of starlings, huge waves of birds twisting over the reeds both at Hanwall and Shapwick Heath. We were treated to a beautiful sunset on our first visit to Hanwall, beautiful red sky with dark reeds silhouetted against it which was to be a base for several prints. Out on the coast there were murmurations of a different kind, great flocks of dunlin out at Steart. As the birds sweep through the sky, one flock will turn, the light underside contrasting against the dark backs of the other side of the flock. At Kilve there are ammonite fossils to be found. In one area there are lots of little fragments of delicate fossils and this became an inspiration for a series of prints. In February, we managed to get away and spend some time at the coast at Porlock Weir and Sidmouth. We saw two storms come in. Crashing waves and rain became the next theme. The last day I was at the coast was the 16th of March. I wasn't to go back until the 8th of July. For the next few weeks, my inspiration was going to have to be found close at home with only a short exercise walk allowed each day. Everything was going to have to be close at hand. The hedgerows, the birds, sparrows in dust baths, the hollow way, the Somerset greens. We walked miles around the village, watching and listening. The Holloway. The Holloway has been a constant source of inspiration through lockdown. It's lovely and shaded when it's hot and sunny and it's sheltered when it rains. It's like a little secret world, hidden away between the fields, about a quarter of a mile of old drover's lane that slowly cut its way through the rock. So the sides are steep and the world is hidden. I've produced several pieces of work based on the Holloway, including a piece, some pieces that were produced in the Holloway using on plein air printing and a foil block that we created. In the, from foraging bits and pieces in the Holloway. I carved a wood block during Somerset Arts Week, which I eventually finished, nearly finished around Christmas, but it's taken a while to find one little piece of wood to go down the side, which I eventually found in the Holloway. And so I was able to complete the wood block and print it during lockdown. At the top of the Holloway is a gorgeous view over the levels. In spring the hedgerows blossomed, there was cow parsley in the verge and the leaves slowly unfurled and now as autumn approaches there are reds and golds in the hedgerows. Finally the swallows came swooshing and sweeping touching the water and now now we're watching them leave. There have been some fabulous full moon rises, gorgeous golden moons lighting up the clouds and occasionally we've been lucky enough to catch a glimpse of a barn owl, ghostly white. Lone trees and crop lines were another strong theme through lockdown and I produced a series of treescapes. A 
after all that sunshine, it's so lovely to have rain. Taking the heat away, sometimes gentle rain, soft, drizzly rain, sometimes a mist, a mizzle of rain that just settles on the plant and then glistens in the sunshine as it dries. So when it rained, I painted rain, lots of rain. My recent work has involved using a portable press, an X-Cut X-Press, um, and taking it out with me and trying to print on plein air, or alternatively, trying to produce some plates on plein air using aluminium foil. Taking the press on the beach wasn't such a great idea, but using seaweed in the foil plates has been brilliant and great fun. Thank you for partaking in a little virtual tour of my work. One of the hardest things in lockdown for me has been the fact that nobody can see the work I've been producing. Hopefully next year you'll be able to come into the studio. <laughs>